Good morning, everyone. In the last class, we have been discussing about uh, history of your plant, components of your plants, and then uh, success of your plants. Um, now we will discuss about the physical properties, biological properties, and chemical properties. Coming to the biological properties, the plant material should be biocompatible, that is, ability of material to elicit an appropriate biological response in a given application in the body. Toxicity of an implant material is due to corrosive products, which depends on amount of material dissolved by corrosion per unit time, amount of corroded material removed by metabolic activity in same unit time, amount of corrosion particles deposited in the tissue. Both increased corrosion resistance and decreased toxicity of corrosion products contribute to biocompatibility. Bioactive, that is, they should be capable of promoting formation of hydroxyapatite and bonding to bone. The success of an implant mainly depends upon the implant surface and the bone and the bonding to the bone. There should be a biomarker integration between implant and the living bone. The mechanical properties are like this. You can go through this the table as shown in the diagram. The modulus of elasticity, all the physical properties, mechanical properties already it has been discussed by Dr. Sandbub in earlier classes. You can go through this uh, in uh, the class. I'm not going deep with this. Tensile and compressive shear stress, yield strength, fatigue strength, ductility, hardness and toughness, physical properties surface toughness. The most, the, the importance of surface topography for a successful osseointegration was first spotted by Bergson in 1981. The cells react differently in contact with smooth surface and rough surfaces. Fibroblasts and epithelial cells adhere more strongly to smooth surfaces and the ability of osteoblast proliferation and collagen synthesis is greater in surfaces with moderate roughness. Surface treatments like acid etching, sandblasting, plasma spray, a laser ablation, etc. increases the mechanical and chemical bonding. These are all the additional treatments for the implant surface. Chemical properties Corrosion, I think already discussed earlier. Other factors like availability. Example, titanium is found 0.6% in earth crust million times more abundant than gold. Affordability due to the nobility technique sensitive procedures like gamma sterilization. Surface modification treatment extra leads to increase in cross of production. The cost of this material should be affordable so that the most of the people can be benefited. Polymers. Polymorphic implants in form of a PMMA and PTFE were first used in 1930s. Properties, their mechanical strength is very low, hence more prone to fracture during function. The physical properties are greatly dependent on changes in temperature, environment and composition. The sterilization can be accomplished only by gamma irradiation or exposure to ethylene oxide gas only. Other methods may deteriorate these materials. Because of electrostatic charges, the surfaces are contaminated by impurities from the environment, low modulus of elasticity. The use of polymer is now confined to component of implants. 
the IMC implies uh, either titanium plasma strain or hydroxy uptight coated and incorporated in polymethylene intramobile unit which act as an internal shock absorber due to low modulus of elasticity. The IME is placed between the processes and the implant body to shape the mobility, stress relief and shock absorption capability to mimic the periodontal ligament and alveolar bone in natural tooth. Ceramic implants, aluminum or zirconium. Ceramics are inorganic, non-metallic, non-polymetric materials manufactured by compacting and sintering at elevated temperatures. They can be divided into metallic oxides or components. Oxide ceramics were introduced for surgical implant devices because of their in inertness to biodegradation, high strength, physical characteristics, such as color and minimal thermal and electrical conductivity and hydrophilic nature. Their low ductility and brittleness has resulted in limitations. Ceramics have been used in bulk forms and more recently as coatings on metal and alloys. Based on tissue response, they are classified into bioactive, bioglass, Bioceramic, bioresorbable, calcium phosphate, bioinert, alumina, zirconia, carbon. The differences between alumina and zirconia as can be seen as table, I mean the difference as a diagram. Sorry, as the properties. Tensile strength is 220 for megapascals. For zirconia it is about 350 megapascals. Each strength is 400 megapascals, zirconia it is 2-1200 megapascals, modular sephiracity is 380 gigapascals, zirconia 200 gigapascals, density is 3.96, here zirconia it is 6.0. Ceramics can be withstand only relatively low tensile stresses induced by crucial loads, but they can tolerate quite high levels of compressive stresses. These properties have resulted in specialization design requirements. Alumina ceramics are used as gold standard or ceramic implant because of its inertness and higher surface metability. Alumina and zirconia implants are also used superiosteal and transosteal implants. Aluminium, titanium, zirconium oxide used for root form, industrial plate form, pin type dental implants, compressive tensile bending strength, exceeds strength of compact bone by 3 to 5 times, high elastic modulus, high elastic modulus. Advantages These ceramics have clear white cream or light grey color. Most probably they are used in the anterior teeth region. Minimal thermal and electrical conductivity. The main disadvantages are the steam sterilization decreases the strength and scratches or notches act as fractures in initiation sites. Alumina. As implant materials mainly came in 1970s, the gold standard for a ceramic implant it is very inert material and resistant to corrosive environment, excellent wear resistance and hardness. It can be polished due to high surface finish, but the body recognizes it has a foreign material and tries to isolate it by forming a layer of non-adherent fibrous tissue around the implant. Zirconia plant used in 1916. The advantage is a high flexible strength, high fracture toughness, lower endless uh, end modulus, ability to polish to a superior surface finish compared to alumina. They are one piece structure, they can work it on one position, have strength, stiffness, and hardness 
फंक्शन विला सबपेरियोस्टियल और ट्रांसोस्टियल मेटालिक एप्लाइज मोस्ट ऑफ द इंप्लांट सिस्टम्स आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड फॉर मेटल्स एंड देयर अलॉयज दिस इंक्लूड टाइटेनियम अलॉयज दिस मटेरियल्स आर सेलेक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर बायोकंपैटिबिलिटी स्ट्रेंथ अवेलेबिलिटी एंड अफोर्डेबिलिटी मेटालिक मोस्ट पॉपुलर मटेरियल यूज्ड इज टाइटेनियम अदर मटेरियल्स आर स्टेनलेस स्टील कोबाल्ट क्रोमियम मोलिब्डेनम एंड वाइटेनियम Metallic implants undergo several modifications to become suitable for implantation. Modifications include passivation, anodization, and texturing. Passivation and anodization. The surface texturing increases surface area up to six times and increases the area which bone can bond. It includes plasma staining with titanium, acid etching with hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid, fluoric acid, sandblasting titanium oxide, aluminium, fluoride, sandblasted with acid etched surfaces. Here they have both a mechanical treatment and chemical treatment. Mechanical treatment is done by blasting of hydroxy acid crystals, and the chemical treatment is mainly done by acid etching. Titanium. Titanium was discovered by William Rob. In 1971, atomic number is 22, placed in four big group of transition elements. Atomic weight is 47.9. Availability is 0.6 percent in Earth, thus million times more abundant than gold, as we discussed earlier. The commercially pure titanium comes in different grades. Commercially titanium grade one, commercially titanium pure titanium grade four. It exists in hexagonal, closed pack beta body center cubic forms at 883. Co alpha transforms into a beta form. Metal 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 melts at 6 by degrees. The properties of titanium already discussed, but I am. explaining again the biocompatibility titanium is one of the most biocompatible material due to its excellent corrosion resistance corrosion resistance is due to formation of biological inert oxide layer the importance of titanium oxide in oxidation is it is important to remember that the contact between the plant and the body establish to a titanium oxide film The passive film protects the titanium against the corrosion attack or degradation in wide range of aggressive environmental condition and physical and mechanical properties. Good yield strength, tensile strength, fatigue strength. Modulus of ferrous is 102 gigapascals, is half of other alloys, five times greater than the bone 80 gigapascals. This helps in uniform stress distribution along the bone implant face. The ductile enough to be shaped into implant by matching, by machining. Sorry, low density 4.5 grams per uh, centimeters. Sorry, lightweight, wettability, low contact angle. Titanium alloys can be uh, titanium can be alloyed with different elements to modify its properties. It is the most commonly used titanium alloys. Aluminum acts as an alpha stabilizer for purpose of increasing the strength, and uh, copper are uh, the beta phase stabilizers, which are used to minimize the transformation of titanium aluminum to approximately six percent or less, thereby decreasing the susceptibility for corrosion. Advantages. high degree of wear compatibility high strength high corrosion resistance disadvantages high cost difficult to cast stainless steels corrosion resistant despite of its low cost and easy ease of fabrication stainless steel implants are not widely used because of allergic potential of and i as well as its susceptibility to crevice And pitting corrosion. 
the other metals main the other metals uh, alloys have been used for the dental implant device for applications like gold platinum palladium etc gold platinum palladium are uh, metals of relatively low strength which places limits of implant design because of nobility and availability the gold is continued to be used to surgical implants material for example goes for industrial staple design system the composition weight percentage as shown in the table form you can go to that Carbon and carbon components were introduced in 1960s for use in implantology. Carbon is the most biocompatible to the host tissue. Modulus of elasticity is similar to that of dentin and bone. Even though their use as implant material is limited due to its pure mechanical and physical properties. These materials are used as coating materials for metallic implants. The crystallinity of hydroxyapatite coating should be more to avoid its clinical resolution, minimum 50% of crystallinity. The major advantage of this coating is that they can stimulate the adaptation of bone. They exhibit more bone to implant contact compared with the metallic surface alone. The disadvantage it is poor strength and dissolution causes implant failure. The advantages and disadvantages of calcium phosphate ceramics. The chemistry mimics normal biological tissue is the main advantage. Excellent biocompatibility, minimal thermal and electrical conductivity, elastic modulus closer to bone, color similar to hard tissues, attachment between CPC and hard soft tissues. Main disadvantages are low mechanical tensile and high shear strength under fatty glory. Low attachment between coating and subject. Variable solubility impurities accelerate absorption. Vital with low ductility. Bioglass. Thank you.